Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and in this video we're going to go over the Packet Drop Simulator and the Network Latency Simulator. These are two new features that came out in version 6, and they allow you to test out uh, what happens whenever you lose packets or whenever there's uh, latency on the network, and see how Forge handles it or how your code handles it. So I'm going to actually work with the Forge... Uh, demo cube scene. So if we go to Bearded Man Studios, Forge Networking, Examples, and there is a Hello Cube here. So we'll go into Hello Cube. And inside of here, there's a Scenes, and here's our Hello Cube scene. We're going to drag that into our build settings. We're going to copy the name because we're going to come back over here to the canvas here. And we're going to paste the name instead of scene name. So we have Forge Hello Cube. And then I'm going to add the current scene, start menu, and make sure it's the first scene. So now that we're finally set up to build, uh, we're going to go ahead and see what happens when we set up our network latency and when we do package drop and see what happens between those two. So I'm going to bump up the network latency first to 500 milliseconds, and I'm going to build and run. So I'm going to make Unity editor the server and the window of the client just so that I can see them both easily. So join the server. All right, so I'm going to move the client. And you notice there's about 500 milliseconds uh, of latency here. So you'll notice that there's latency between the server and the client, uh, easily simulated just by changing that number. Now let's check out package drop. To check out package drop, we're going to put this back to zero. And the package drop simulation is a zero to one uh, number, and it, which is a percentage. So if I put in 0 0.15, that is 15% of the, packages, uh, the packets that are being sent will be dropped. So I'm going to build and run and see how this uh, simulates. Same deal, I'm going to make this the client and the editor the server. Server. Yep, over here, and client. All right, so now we don't have any latency, but we do have packet drop. Notice how there is a little bit of a hiccup in our movement uh, over here on the server. So there's a hiccup because there's a 15% packet drop. So you can actually test out to see how your game works with packet drop. And of course, uh, no scene is done without both packet drop and latency. So I'm going to jump over to my canvas. I'm going to set up the packet drop to be 15% and the latency to be 500 milliseconds. Build and run, and we'll see those results. Same deal. I'm going to start editor as the server and this as the client. So you'll notice when we join in, it takes a few, a few milliseconds for this to show up. And now we have both packet drop and latency. So we're going to see the latency here, and we're also going to see some stuttering from the packet drop. So now you can test your game or application with packet drop and latency. Now, to finalize this, we're actually going to look at the start menu or start game code, and we'll scroll down to where we have the packet drop simulation chance and the network latency simulation time. If we scroll down, you'll notice that all we're doing is inside of the cross-platform UDP, we're actually setting the packet drop simulation chance and the network latency simulation time directly. So if you don't want to use the start game script and you have your own uh, connection set up for how you connect your game and get it started without the, the uh, helper menu that comes with Forge Networking, you can actually set up uh, so that you can simulate the package drop and latency by just assigning these two variables the same way we have them here. So that's it for the packet drop and simulation. Um, if you want to see how they're implemented, of course, you have the for source code. So just head over and check out where those variables are being used. And uh, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know. And if you want to give us any feedback on how we can make it better or any other suggestions about anything, uh, please let us know. And again, thank you for watching.